with us is Brian Vera. Now, you uh, first, you've already fought Andy Lee once. You want to fill our audience in on this? Yeah, we did. We fought a, a tough fight, but we stopped him in the seventh round. What do you feel? What was his shortcoming at that time? Uh, at that time, I, you know, he says he looks past me, but uh, I don't know really. You know, uh, I just got the, the best prepared I could. I got in the best shape, and uh, I put a lot of pressure on him, and I think it, it broke him at the end. Now, your trainer was saying you are in better shape than you were before on the first yeah. fight. Now, where have you been training at? And tell us a little bit about your training. Uh, we stayed in Austin, Texas. We had uh, Russell Jordan. We had a couple guys come in, come in from uh, this area to Austin to spar with us. And uh, we just put, we had 10 weeks to train. So we're, we got in the best shape we've ever been in. Uh, the first time I fought him, I had five weeks. So we're just more well prepared and, and, and got a game plan for him. Oh, you have a gang plan? We well, I know you don't want to plan. share too much of that, yeah, but... Yeah, uh, I mean, we just, uh, it's kind of similar, from, you know, from the first time, but we got a little tweaks in there to, to change it up. Do you have any, any advice for uh, fighters out there? Oh, just stay in the gym. The, probably the worst thing is uh, on your breaks and to not be in the gym every day and, uh, and take too many big layoffs because you got to pay catch-up. So all I can say is stay in the gym. Okay, and you have a prediction? Uh, the same thing. I'm going to stop him again. I can't give you one round, but I'm, I'm going to get him out of there. <laughs> okay. Hey, good luck to you. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you. it. All right.